Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? This is a special video. We're going to take a look at the 2017 offerings from Spydeco. A couple of months ago, Spydeco came out with its new catalog, its 2017 catalog, and oh. Oh. As a Spydeco knife collector, oh. oh, 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 oh. Now, you can go to Spydeco.com and download um, the, uh, uh, a copy of the catalog today. So go do that. If you like the paper catalog like I do, I've already downloaded um, the catalog, but now I put in my request to get one in the mail. I haven't gotten that yet. And I've been thinking about how to do this. Now, I know a lot of people on the on YouTube have done a catalog, look through the catalog, and we're going to do that. Um, but I want you to download the catalog for yourself so you can take a look at those knives. I told you at the beginning of 2016, and that's the year I'm recording this, I told you that it was going to be an epic year, and it was. It was the 40th anniversary of Spydeco, and they came out with all kinds of knives, especially folding knives. And I made a commitment to buy all the folding knives that I could for that year, for their 40th anniversary. I posted a video on this channel. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. Um, it's in the Spydeco uh, Palooza um, a list of videos on my channel. Go check it out. <laughs> it's a lot of Spydecos, a whole bunch of Spydecos. And so I said, you know, I'm going to focus on some of my other knife um, folks and maybe try some new knives in 2017 because Spydeco, what are they going to do to follow up this past year? Well, <laughs> man, they really are going at it. Here's why I'm so excited about 2017 and the offerings that Spydeco has made. All the knives you see on this table, obviously I don't own any of the 2017 knives. They haven't been released yet. They're all going to be updated in 2017. And let me tell you something. There are some very hard to find classics on this table and we're going to talk about those. I'm going to show you what we're dealing with now as I explain to you some of the new knives that Spydeco is going to offer in 2017. I'm not going to show you the catalog. I'm going to show you the knives that some of the new knives are based off of. Okay. And man, it is exciting. I'll tell you how exciting it is. It starts with, now this, <laughs> to me, is exciting. It's the police. Yeah. In 2017, Spydeco is going to take this classic police, and they're going to actually do two things to it. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to introduce Police 4, the new police. Now, you know, Spydeco has this real tradition and it's true it's part of their company it's not just a marketing slogan where they take a look at a knife even a knife that's doing great sales wonderful sales like the police and they try to improve it and they're going to improve the police this is the police three wonderful knife right 4.15 inch steel vg10 steel just a wonderful knife well in 2017 spydeco is introducing a new police 4 with new steel you'll see in 2017 the introduction of a whole lot of upgraded steel and new steel this steel is K390 steel. Now, you guys, I know there's a lot of steel fanatics out there that know what that is. I don't know. I can't wait to see the new police have it in my hand, compare it to this police, and to find out more about this steel. K390 steel. If you know about it, comment in the comments about that steel so that people watching this video will know more, that you can educate them more. Here's the other thing about the police, it's gonna be longer. Yeah, this police, like I said, 
4.15 inches of VG10 steel. The new knife will be 4.4 inches. It's going to be even bigger than this. Ah, oh, you've got to love that. Three tenths of an inch bigger, better steel than VG10. I'm excited about the new police. Here's another thing. <laughs> I love it. You know what? What I love about Spyderco, I know some people, there's some haters out there, and that's cool, man. That's that's America. That's the world. Uh, there are so many wonderful knife makers and so many wonderful knife companies. Um, but I'll tell you about Spyderco. Here, my friends, is the Delica. Now, you and I both know the Delica is one of the best-selling knives around. It's the Delica 4. It is just a wonderful knife, right? One that is a classic through and through. Now, they've played this year in 2016 with the steel. They've given us a lot of different steels. But what I'm excited about, one of my favorite variations on the Delica is my Car Arms version. Car Arms is a, uh, <laughs> is a wonderful gun and uh, tactical equipment seller. And they have worked with Spyderco to come up with this version, a very tactical version, a version that is under, way under the three inch so that you can, so that their customers could have a real tactical knife. Warren Cliff blade, the blade is smaller. The blade actually has this wonderful tactical shape. Well, what Spyderco's gonna do is they're taking the Delica in 2017. They're gonna continue to offer the Delica with this wonderful Spyderco leaf shape, but they're also gonna uh, introduce a Warren Cliff Spyderco. It won't be a cut down version. It won't have this very tactical um, cut down in the front. It'll have a leaf on the top that goes into a Warren Cliff blade. Looking forward to the new Delica, new Delica 4 with the Warren Cliff blade and steel 2.9 inches. Here's a big thing that's happening <laughs> this year. You know, I was surprised when Spyderco released, oh man, so many sprint runs um, of the paramilitary Two. They also did a lot of paramilitary two exclusives with a number of production of uh, retail outlets like Blade HQ, Knife Center. Everyone was getting a blade, <laughs> a special paramilitary two, right? And I was saying, man, this is crazy. Um, I love the paramilitary twos. I started 2016 with just one paramilitary, and that was <laughs> with the with the digi handle and a black blade. And then I started 2016 and purchased this one, and then went on to get a lot of paramilitary <laughs> twos. And you know why? They were getting us ready for the knife that we all knew were coming pretty soon, was coming pretty soon. I guess at a lot of knife, a lot of knife shows, Spyderco, I've never been to one. I've never seen Spyderco at a knife show. I have to do that in the next year or two. Um, Spyderco always has a secret stash of prototype knives and people have been saying that they're working on a smaller paramilitary they're working on a smaller paramilitary there was a rumor that they were going to call it the Minuteman. you know you have the military and then the paramilitary and then a minute man well <laughs> they've announced through this 2017 catalog that they're going to do a new paramilitary it's called the para three the para three 
not only is it the third, you know, the third version of the paramilitary, but it's going to have a three inch blade. The reason I have this, <laughs> this is the paramilitary. This happens to be um, carbon fiber paramilitary. And this is the new Sage 5 that just came out in 2016. So if you can imagine this paramilitary with this size blade, this blade shape, this blade size, oh, it's going to be a beast. I was just saying that to me, the Sage 5 is the smaller paramilitary, both with the compression lock. But now we're going to have our Para 3. It's going to be this size, and I like a smaller knife. It's going to be this size, of course, with the compression lock, but with the profile of a paramilitary 2. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be ugh, a beast. Para 3 is what it's called. Are you guys familiar with the stretch? I think the stretch is one of those knives that really you don't hear about that much from Spydeco. You hear about the Endura and the Delica and the paramilitary and those kinds of things. Even the native. Spydeco really loves their natives. Well, this year they came out with a HAP 40 uh, version. And of course, it was that burnt orange stretch. So they announced the stretch again. I happen to have the stretch with the Damascus and, um, you know, <laughs> a sprint run. But this HAP 40. But I'm bringing out the stretches for one reason and one reason only, and that's because in 2017, <laughs> they're, release, they're releasing a new stretch. I love it. It's the stretch too. It'll have a longer handle than this stretch. VG10 steel. The choil right here goes a little deeper. So you can just, you know, your fingers a little bit more comfortable on the choil. I like this choil, but it goes a little deeper in the new version of the stretch. Stretch will be 3.45 inches. And guess what? It's coming in ZDP 189 steel. ZDP 189 steel, a longer handle to give you a little bit more leverage. This is really a hunting knife. It came from the Spydeco Hunter. And uh, man, a new stretch. Can't wait to see it. I'm excited about it. Now, I like my fancy knives. But the thing that got me really into knives was the Spydeco value folders. Man, I don't talk about them enough on this channel or show a lot of pictures of them on Instagram. Uh, and the reason is, man, they're just hard workers. <laughs> and I love them. I don't know. I haven't come across a knife for the money, for the value that, man, lives up to these. I really haven't. Um, of course, there's this ambitious, the 2.3 inch blade. And of course, all of the value folders that we have now are have that 8CRL3 MOV steel. Um, inexpensive. That's why they're the value line. They're not cheap knives. They're inexpensive. I'll tell you, I bled a lot with these knives. <laughs> One of my first, all four of these are my first four Spydeco knives, and they come out so sharp, and you're just not that familiar with them um and man they cut me so much again the ambitious the persistence just a perfect perfect size for me 2.8 inches but the thing about the value line is there's always one of the size that you like right the tenacious 3.4 inch blade and it has that spidaco leaf blade it just feels great in the hand with the g10 handles and then 
the big boy. <laughs> yeah. The resilience. 4.2 inches. Oh, it's just perfect. I remember my first knife over $100 was the Spyderco Techno. These are still very affordable. And the good news about 2017, oh, I love it. I, I, I don't know if I'm more excited about the Para 3, the new paramilitary, or the fact that Spyderco has decided to add two more knives to their value knives. And I tell you, I really love it. The first will be the Efficient. Actually, they're, who knows? They'll probably release them both at the same time. Um, the Efficient will be a three inch blade. Same kind of shape with G10 steel. I mean, I'm sorry, G10 handles, black G10. And the steel for the efficient will be the same as the ambitious, persistence, tenacious, and resilience. It'll be 8CR13MOV steel. But the second new one is the Polestar, P O L S T A R. It'll come in a little bit bigger at 3.3 inches. I love the fact, just under the tenacious, I love the fact that they're filling in on the sizes, but this is a little bit, I don't know, I'm excited about it. It's gonna have CTS BD1 steel, BD1 steel at 3.3 inches, and it'll have gray G10 scales. Again, <laughs> you all know the four value folders, Spyderco is adding two new ones, the Efficient at three inches and the Polestar with CTS BD1 steel at 3.3 inches. I hope you're excited about that as I am. If you know people, if you know someone who wants to get into knives, oh man, nothing's better than the value folders. Now I have to tell you, I've been waiting for the advocate I think the advocate, I'm not, <laughs> it's in the 2017 folder. I mean, a uh, catalog from Spyderco. It's also in, <laughs> you know, the, um, the second half catalog for 2016. I have my fingers crossed that that new Gail Bradley flipper that'll have CPM M4, like a lot of Gail Bradley knives will actually make it in this December. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed right before the new year, I'm hoping. But of course that's in the list. Another knife that was in the list that didn't make it out in 2016, that was in the uh, catalog, the mid-year catalog was Rubicon 2. This is the original Rubicon, the the collaboration between Spydeco and Peter Carey. Three inch blade, just a wonderful blade. S30V steel. It was highly anticipated when it came out two years ago. 3D carbon fiber. Oh man, polished carbon fiber. Really nice 3D. Special pivot with orange G10 around it. Had this. G10 backspacer that was carved, titanium liners, and a special clip as well to go with the knife. It was highly anticipated. It came out with S30V steel. A lot of people, it was a pricey knife because Spyderco had to produce it with that heavy 3D polished, wonderful carbon fiber. Ah, people were a little disappointed there was only S30V steel. And Spyderco said that, you know, some complaints about the backspacer, maybe a little too molded. Also, because it was 3D, nice and rounded, that was kind of took up a lot of room in the pocket. 
I love my Rubicon. So the Rubicon 2 is a cheaper version of the Rubicon. And I'm saying cheaper, not in, ah, oh, it's just cheap. No, what they did was they heard the complaints. And so the idea for Spydeco is to shave off some of the costs, also take into consideration some of the suggestions for another knife or some of the complaints and put it all in put it all in the Rubicon 2. So instead of the shiny carbon fiber 3D, now you'll have flat scales with carbon fiber on top of G10. Hey, it's a lot less expensive, right? It really is a lot less expensive. Um, the backspacer isn't, it's a flat backspacer, so it doesn't have all of the ridges. And just a real low key, it'll still be S30V steel, still will have the three inch blade, but a lot of the <laughs> things that added cost on the original will be taken care of. It's in the 2017 catalog, so we should see it, I think early in 2017, since it was in the other catalog, I thought they had just thought to themselves that, <laughs> you know, when working with Peter Carey, let's not overdo it on the material. That was right before they came out with, <laughs> with the magnitude that they just came out with <laughs> a couple of months ago from Peter Carey. Again though, even with this, they didn't skimp. This is real carbon fiber, but not the shiny kind. And while it's a little 3D, it's not as fat as the other ones. And yes, it has all the trimmings, but the backspacer, can you see it? Oh yeah, it's contoured, but a lot flatter. So even with a premium flipper, they took into account everyone's comments, but we should be able to see the Rubicon too. So if you've been wanting to have a Rubicon in your pocket, and you thought this one was a little bit too pricey, little bit too flashy, little bit too fat. Man, that sounds like me. <laughs> Description of me from my ex-wife. Um, the Rubicon 2 is coming and it should be more affordable. Now I'll tell you guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about some classics that I was shocked that Spyderco was gonna update. These are, you could say, these are the enthusiasts, the Spydeco enthusiasts' dreams come true. <laughs> Spydeco has said that they've been hearing from a lot of people who wanted the ATR to come back. Well, it is coming back. And I just love this. This is the ATR at the ready. This is the original. This is the titanium original. It is such a wonderful knife let me tell you about it now this is the serrated original it is titanium i love the fact that it has all these holes that really make it light spydeco did a lot with this so we're all familiar with the compression lock right well this is the back compression lock that's on the atr Oh, it falls like a dream too. It's so smooth. Again, ATR with the holes in it, a compression lock from Spydeco, that very, very, very tough lock that we have on the paramilitaries. And then they did this. They have what they call the Cobra hood. So you have jimping on the knife, but really it's a Cobra hood. Uh, cobra hood you see that nice placement real comfortable for your thumb also when you're opening it up using the spidey hole it also helps you with that as well the opening what a wonderful knife they came out with the all titanium and then that was a very expensive knife and then they went all 
stainless steel. You could tell the difference between the stainless steel and the titanium because they had extra holes on the stainless steel. Also, of course, the materials. They even had a blacked out version of the knife. These are still very expensive on the secondary market, but man, when you have it in your hand, they also have special clips on them too, molded with the holes that you can see all the way through. They did a great job on the ATL, the at the ready. Well, they're coming up and they're gonna do another ATL at the ready. Yeah, it's a production knife. I thought they were gonna do it as a sprint run. They're doing a production knife of the ATR and the new one will be 3.5 inches, about this. This is a little over 3.4 inches. It'll have an S30V steel. The uh, titanium one had S30V back in the day, so you can, exp you, you, you can imagine several years ago what kind of price that added to the knife. Plus it was full tie. So they do have S30V steel on the new one but it'll have G10, it'll have all of the other things, it'll have the holes going through, but it'll have a G10, black G10 handle. I can't wait for it. It won't be that expensive because of the G10 handle, and you know, S30V still, how do I say it? Ah, I'll just say it. it, it's kind of almost spidical standard steel now, right? On a lot of their knives, so, they must have a lot of S30V st steel. So I'm expecting a nice price on this knife, but I can't wait for the at the ready. Again, one of those knives that if you haven't had a chance to play with it, oh, you're in for a real treat. Now, <laughs> that's one of the oldies but goodies that they're updating. Here's another. This is called the Chinook. This is the first Chinook. This is an original Chinook. Oh man. You could tell because it has 440 V steel, 440 V steel. Um, oh man, it's a beast. This is a combo blade, of course. Uh, it, <laughs> it has, it's a 3.75 inch blade. Now the new one is gonna be even bigger blade Man, you, you have to love this Bowie, this classic Bowie shape. The new one is a Bowie shape. It looks like the blade is a little bit, not as wide, a little bit thinner blade. But it's going to be a hefty 3.9 inch S30V steel, great steel, S33. Still going to be a powerful <laughs> Knife, and you want to know, just like this knife was very tactical, but also a hard working knife. Look at the thick stock. Um, big EDC, heavy EDC knife. Well, the new Chinook is going to be the same. So much so, you see, the original has the back lock, and I, I think it's one of Spydeco's strongest locks. Um, you know, they have said themselves that it's one of their most evolved locks. Well, the new Chinook, they're going to have a back lock, but they're going to use the power lock. <laughs> yeah, they need a little bit more power for that big 3.9 inch blade on the Chinook 4. That's what they're calling it, the Chinook 4. So they created the power back lock, the power lock. And as you can see, it has multiple pieces. So when you press the lock, you see that it's released right here. Gives it a lot more strength to handle and lock up this very big, hefty blade. You can see how it works. They're using the new power lock on the new Chinook. Get ready for a beast. <laughs> and that's why I got excited. You know, I got excited because 
Not only are they talking about the ATR, they're bringing back the Chinook. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and they're adding the power lock. But when I saw in the catalog, I know everybody else is looking for all the fancy smancy stuff. But when I saw that they're looking at a new little temperance three, I just, I, 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 I love the little temperance. No one talks about the little temperance. The temperance was a fixed blade knife from Spydeco. The little temperance was to put everything they had from this thick, working, heavy duty uh, fixed blade into a folding blade. And boy, they did a great job. They did it in two, sha in, in two shapes. Now these are, this little temperance is, is the older ones. They have the older 440 V steel. The new temperance, let me tell, talk about the new one first. The new temperance will have just under a three inch uh, blade. So it'll be legal in most places. It will have the compression lock, just like these do, which is just great. We all know about how wonderful the compression lock is uh, on the Paramilitary 2 and so many other knives released just this year in 2016. These were released, these are the originals that were released a while ago. Now, let me just tell you, this is the Bowie, this is the leaf shape, um, thick blades, they have this recess con contouring. It's recessed so that your fingers just wrap around and feel so great. Ah, oh, man. Indexing divots. Now, the handle, <laughs> the handle on the Little Temperance 3 that's coming out in 2017 will have VG10 states. Uh, uh, v, VG10 scales, the handle will be VG10, and they have a little divot just to, to remind all of us old heads of these little temperances. But it will have the compression lock, oh, and it'll have a nice stock of VG10 steel. I can't wait. They're actually bringing back my beloved little temperance, the Chinook, the little temperance. My goodness, I had enough of the old school revival knives that I'll tell you, I almost lost it when I saw that they're bringing back the Dialora. That's why I call it. I don't know how you guys call it. The Dialora. Oh, my goodness gracious. <sighs> let, me take, <laughs> let me take a breath because I, I get very excited about this. The Dialora comes, oh man, um, as a rescue knife and a draw point knife. These knives were created by Spydeco in remembrance of John Dialora, a New York policeman who lost his life saving people from uh, the attacks on 9-11. In fact, there's a very special limited edition 9-11 um, with the Twin Towers on it version of these knives. Um, you can find them every now and then. They're very expensive because they're very limited. But these were created in memory of a hero. And uh, the great thing about these knives is just the handle so thick. Uh, really thick. Again, a rescue with the spidey edge. I have the combo blade with the drop point, but of course there was a, a plain edge blade as well. Oh man. Had the wonderful Spydeco ball bearing lock. That's just unbelievable. The new, and these have 3.5 inch blades. Now the new 2017 Dialora, Dialora 3, We'll have a 3.4 inch blade, S30V steel, there's that steel again. And no, they won't have the chunky <laughs> ha 
handles. Now, these chunky handles, <laughs> they really are chunky, uh, fiberglass reinforced uh, nylon. And look at this. They even have fat versions of what I think are the best clips ever, the wire clips. Um, these were so, they were thick so that you could use them a long time and, and your hands wouldn't get exhausted. So it won't be this thick, but it will have that ball bearing and it will resemble these knives. And I'm just thrilled that they're coming. And, and they're, they're in the drop point. S30V steel, can't wait. I can't believe. I mean, listen to me. ATRs being looked at, brought back a new ATR, a new Chinook. Man, oh man, are you kidding me? The Little Temperance, Little Temperance 3. Man, a wonderful tribute. The Dialora, the Dialora 3 is coming back. I'm just thrilled to death. Now, there are other <laughs> the other thing that they'll be doing is they'll be adding to what I call my second favorite, third, ah, third favorite series from Spyderco. The first, of course, is the Sage series. For me, the second is the Copa series of knives, which I really like. And then the Chaparral series. Series of four knives. They are gentleman folders through and through. They all have exactly the same profile, 2.8 inch blades in that spidical leaf shape. Well, they all have CTS XHP carpenter steel. Well, they're adding a new one. I'm going to spell it. It's R-A-F-F-I-R, -F -F -I Rayfair Noble. And I can't even explain the handle. You need to download the catalog or check out some of those YouTubers who are showing you the catalog on YouTube. Man, all I can say is it is a fancy handle <laughs> for the Chaparral. I'm so happy that they had the Sage 5 in 2016 and now they're bringing the fifth Chaparral around in 2016. 17. I can't wait, can't wait. So let's talk about some of the sprint runs that they announced. And with the sprint runs, yeah, all of these, including the old folks, uh, the old folks specials, I will call them. I'm one of those old folks um, that they'll be bringing back. They also announced a few uh, sprint runs that <laughs> you guys know I'm excited about it. Remember the little lum? Yeah, this little lum that I just like. It's just a small knife, 2.4 inch blade, VG10 steel. Um, Spyderco took the old, you know, lum, Bob the, the uh, deceased, uh, the late Bob Lum created these Chinese folders. Uh, this is the medium size folder. They have a larger folder that I don't own. And then this year they released the little lum, uh, the smaller folder, again, the smallest folder. Well, they'll do a sprint run of the little lum. And what they're going to do is they're going to do a blue incision. This is a gray incision. Imagine this small lum with blue incision as a sprint run that's coming if you love small knives if you haven't tried the lum very reasonably priced but also the little lum little lum it'll really be a nice fancy addition to all of us small knife carriers oh man I've saved the last two favorites for, by the way, I haven't talked about all the new knives. I haven't talked about the fixed knives. 
There are a couple of new folding knives as well. Uh, the cue ball, the opus, uh, the Reno, uh, the Rhino, sorry, the Rhino, sorry, 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 the Rhino, uh, which they announced in 2016 should be coming out in 2017. Download the catalog. Easy to do. Just download the catalog, take a look at those. I just wanted to talk about all the updates and show you the knives because me just showing you a one dimension picture just doesn't do it, okay? But this little knife really got me excited. I thought they forgot about these knives and they didn't. Ah, they're bringing back the Meerkat. They're not only just bringing back the Meerkat as a sprint run, they're bringing back the Meerkat with HAP 40 steel. Yeah, uh-huh. It's going to be burnt orange. <laughs> and it's going to have HAP 40 steel. And if you're not familiar with the Meerkat, this is it. And the new one looks just like this, by the way. Except it'll be burnt orange. This Meerkat... <laughs> I remember getting this when I first started. I looked up and found these in great condition. This one, not so great, and I'll show you why. But this one in perfect condition. Now, <laughs> the great thing about the Meerkat is, yeah, it's a small two-inch knife. It has FRN scales, just smooth FRN scales. It's wonderful. Of course, the new one will have wonderful steel, the HAP40 steel. But it's Spydeco's Phantom Lock that made this special. The Phantom Lock. So, of course, not a frame lock. Nope, not a liner lock. No, no compression, no back lock. The Phantom Lock is, you look where the logo is right there, you push it forward. It unlocks the blade. Phantom Lock. Pull it up, it locks it in. Push it down with the Phantom. The scale moves forward, that's the lock, and that's the release. And that, my friends, will be on the new sprint run of the Meerkat in 2017. Can't wait, can't wait for the new Meerkat, can't wait for the Phantom lock, of course, be careful with that phantom lock. Don't push it too far, okay? This one is great. It's wonderful. It locks up nice, but you can see that they've extended the lock a little bit too much. But that's okay. I just wanted to see if I could get a second one. I love the burgundy. That's a new one. Hap 40 burnt orange <laughs> sprint run. And then the last one, it was announced, it actually wasn't in any kind of catalog. ATR was announced, I think it was announced by Eric at, um, you know, when he went to SHOT Show and Blade Show. He did a great job. He gave us a lot of looks at future knives that weren't in the catalogs, like the ATR and, and a lot of other knives. He also told us about this. This right here is the, oh man, now I have to pronounce it. The Nalaka, which is a wonderful knife. It's so beautiful. Um, man, it is. The tip, I have the fixed blade that is a lot stronger and usable. This blade, it comes to such a small point that Spydeco actually puts in the box, don't use it as an EDC because of the very, very thin tip. I remember people telling me, that, why did you buy it? Well, I open up mail with it. <laughs> it's on my desk. It's beautiful to open up mail and other things. It can do, it's a great cutter. It's a wonderful knife, and look just how beautiful it is. Well, they're coming out with a sprint run. It'll be half this size. Yeah, 2.3 inch blade. It'll look just like this. G10, white 
polish G10 <laughs> scales that'll look like this. It'll have the back spacer. It'll look exactly like this, except this will be white polished G10 instead of this nice molded G10. And S30V steel can't wait. It's going to be oh, the ultimate gentleman's folder. I just can't wait. Sprint run S30V steel little Nalaka sprint run with white polished G10 and S30V steel 2.3 inch blade. Small. And that, my friends, is my quick overview. Again, this isn't all the knives. Go get the catalog. But this is 97% of them. I wanted to give you a feel for the kinds of knives that they're releasing this year uh, in 2017, what they'll be releasing in about two or three weeks from now. I hope you enjoy it. It's part of a special Spidacle <laughs> Palooza as we go through my entire Spidacle collection. It's been taking me a while. <laughs> it's a big collection. Um, if you'd like to see the Spidacle, and we've done it because I promised the people who watch uh, the YouTube channel, once we reach a thousand subscribers, I'd go through my Spidacle collection. I'm making my way through it. I am. We still have a bunch more knives to go. Take a look at the videos that we have on this channel called Spider Palooza. You'll see all of the 2016 Spidaco folders. I purchased them all. We talk about them. You'll see a whole bunch of collections from Spidaco and other things. Please thumb this up. Go crazy on the thumb ups. Of course, now I have to clean off the desk and get out of here. I'm supposed to meet friends. I've got to do a pocket dump deconstruction. We do a pocket dump deconstruction every single day here on the Keith Kevin Ken channel. So you can drop by every single day. Hit that subscribe button. And then once you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button because I have a lot more special, special videos coming in the weeks ahead. And of course, every single day, we're going to do a pocket dump deconstruction where we talk about at least four knives and a lot of stuff to stuff your pockets with. Okay, we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Once we do that, I'm doing a Spidacle giveaway. Yeah, at least two new Spidacles and at least, at least one of those will be a Sprint Run Spidacle Limited Edition. Hey, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. Keep your pockets full. Goodbye.